Hello everybody, Epworth Pilgrim, day four, arrived at Gainsborough, leaving Saxelby this morning from Wendy and Ben's. Um, not quite so far to walk today, um, probably, oh, only about mm, 17, 18 miles, and um, yeah, it was okay. I managed to find parts of it on uh, footpaths through fields, so that was really nice. Um, a bit of it was walking on main roads again. And <laughs> I try to pray each morning. Um, I have this divine prayer to, to, to go through. Um, and it's not very easy to pray when you're having to dodge great big articulated lorries and uh, grain lorries going about on the road but um, he sort of <laughs> ended up having to do it in between crises um, as going through the countryside though of course it's harvest time and also they're already uh, harrowing and fertilising the fields ready to plough and plant for next year in some and um, people very busy um, but you hardly see any pedestrians. I suppose it's not surprising um, when the roads are so hazardous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to us, really. During the lockdowns, lots of people started walking much more, but um, maybe not now. Well... Eventually, as I was coming towards Gainsborough, a car drew up by me and uh, ended up having a long, long chat through the car window with this a very interesting chap, um, very, a man with a very generous heart and um, told me all about lots of adventures in his life. And then um, it turns out, it, it, we exchanged phone numbers, and he lives uh, just round the corner from the Airbnb where I am for tonight. Um, yeah, this uh, this Airbnb, I couldn't find it when I got here. Um, and I'd spent so long talking with this chap that in the end um, I'd, I'd arranged, I'd given the Airbnb a time that I said I'd be here. And it was gone that time when eventually I looked at my watch and we decided to stop the conversation. But then he... He, he offered me a lift, and so I accepted, though I try not to accept lifts very much on this pilgrimage. But uh, it turns out that he lives just round the corner from this Airbnb. And um, so, yeah, I give him a tinkle, and he said, would you like to go for a drink later? So we will, and we'll carry on. Um The Airbnb itself, it's, I couldn't find it. Um, the street looks a bit run down, although it's in the centre of Gainsborough and there's several large churches within a hundred yards, I should think, of the B&B. Um, but it turns out it's, it's, there's some rooms above a pub and um, it's all run by this lady called Nikki and I think she's got a very, very busy life. Um, but she seems ever so efficient and the room's clean and uh, so that's fine. I think I'll be able to get a good night's sleep though it's rather noisy here and I'll need the window open for air. Anyway, God is good and I'm learning more and, uh, and praying and getting towards Epworth tomorrow. So good night for now. God bless.